But speaking of the big game, our buddy Maria Lark, she got in on the pigskin fun at the Celebrity Beach Ball. She was there to take in the action and find out what the stars and the players were planning for Valentine's Day. Maria? Hey, Justin, here in Dallas, it's pretty cold, and everyone was hoping that the snow would melt before the big game. <laughs> I actually thought we were in Alaska. Is Dallas we're in? But talk on the red carpet might even melt a few hearts. When you like a girl, what's your strategy? I'm just gangster, you know? I just oh, walk yeah. up and be like, yo, what, hey, yeah. what's good, shorty? And they love that. They love that line. Did you ever play sports to impress a girl? That's why I played sports. Let's sit down and watch some Glee and all the girls go crazy because they think I'm sensitive because I watch Glee. Oh. Well, that's one way to impress your Valentine. Speaking of Glee, I wonder what Cord Overstreet has planned for the big day. I might uh, buy myself a box of chocolates, sit at home and watch a romantic comedy and cry. I don't know. I got a couple ideas for this year. I've been doing some painting, so I might do a little painting this year. That might really win her over. I think I'm going to spend it with my friends. Every day should be Valentine's Day if you're in love. A lot of guys say that football is their first love. What was your first love? Well, acting. I definitely was one of my first loves. And animals. My dog, Coda, French Bulldog. My horse. That was my first pet was a horse. Wow, a lot of responsibility. Yeah, a lot of responsibility, a lot of cleanup. When yeah, no, it's they smell great. Yeah. <laughs> and from Hollywood stars to football stars. Did you ever play sports to impress the girls? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think it started off that way. In, in high school, it's always uh, always important to play sports to try and get the uh, you know get the cheerleader. That's why we play sports. <laughs> Only reason we play sports is to show off. Isn't that always the way? Yeah, that's always the way. <laughs> I second that. And all the stars got a chance to impress their fans in a game of flag football at the Celebrity Beach Bowl. Across town, there are even more stars in sports where Snoop Dogg and Deion Sanders' youth football team went head to head in the Xbox 360 Snoop Bowl. It's a beautiful thing to be able to have the kids interact and be able to put the football game and the football feeling back into the streets and get the kids off the streets and get them doing something positive. But perhaps the biggest star in Dallas on Super Bowl weekend wasn't a football player at all. It may have been an Autobot. My son loves Transformers. He's four and a half. So if I end up on the Hub Network, this is going to be like the biggest day of my life. Uh, I'm sure he'll be so excited. Please put this interview on the Hub Network. Hey, you got it.